Hello. In today's session, we will see the multiplicative inverse of complex numbers. What is multiplicative inverse basically is? First we see the multiplicative identity is 1. Why it is 1? Because if we multiply any number with 1, we will get always the same number. It will not it will not lost its identity if you multiply with number. Any number will not its identity uh, will not lost its identity if you multiply with one. Any number. So it is the multiplicative identity is one. If we have to find out the multiplicative inverse of any number, so if there is phi, we have to find out the multiplicative inverse of phi. So what will happen if we multiply a number with a number, we should get the multiplicative identity, which is 1. If we multiply the 5 with 1 by 5, we will get 1. So 1 is multiplicative identity. Here also. Here also. And 1 by 5 is the multiplicative inverse. So this is the multiplicative inverse. If we multi multiply the multiplicative inverse with a number, then we will get one. Okay. Now we see how we get the multiplicative inverse of complex numbers. Let us see. If you have a complex number like three plus four i, this is a complex number. Three plus for it. We have to find the multiplicative inverse. So it will be multiplicative inverse of z is equal to 1 by j. We can also represent this in this way j power minus 1. So this is the multiplicative inverse. If we have to find the multiplicative inverse 3 by 4, so z inverse is equal to 1 upon 3 plus 4 i. Now, it is not in the algebraic form. The algebraic form is a plus i b. So it is not in a plus i b form. So we have to convert this multiplicative inverse in a plus i b. So how we will convert this? Because in the last session, we have studied about the conjugate of a complex number. So we will multiply this with the in numerator and denominator and both, um, both the numerator and denominator with the conjugate of this denominator. So conjugate of this denominator would be 3 minus 4i we will multiply here and again in numerator also 3 minus 4i. So now we will get 3 minus 4i upon a plus b into a minus b which is a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. There is the algebraic identity. So, we will get 3 square 9 minus 4 i square. So, 4 square 16 and i square. So, what you will get? 3 minus 4 i, 9 plus 16. Because the, minus, uh, because the i square is equal to minus 1. So, I write here again. I don't split the terms, I will explain it in the So 3 minus 4i, 9 plus 16, it is 3 minus 4i upon 25. Or we can also represent in this way, z inverse is equal to 3 upon 25 minus 4i upon 25. This is the multiplicative inverse of 3 plus 4i. So in this way, we could easily find out the multiplicative inverse of a number. Now, if you have to check, if you multiply z and z inverse, we will get 1. We check it. C. 
see j j inverse is equal to 1 we have a j 3 plus 4 i uh, we have a multiplicative inverse 3 upon 25 minus 4 i upon 25 you see what it was into 3 upon 25 plus 4i sorry just a moment minus 4i upon 25 plus 4i into 3 upon 25 minus 4i upon 25 we see 3 into 3 9 upon 25 minus 12i upon 25 plus 12i upon 25 minus 16i square upon 25. So, 9 upon 25 or plus minus, uh, if it is minus, it is plus. So, the both the numbers are same, it will eliminate. So, minus 16i square is again minus 1 upon 25. So, why, what do we get? 9 upon 25 plus 16 upon 25. Now see, j j inverse is equal to 9 plus 16 upon 25, it is 25 upon 25, it is equal to 1. So this is the theorem we have proved, it satisfies the j j inverse is equal to minus 1. So our multiplicative inverse was correct, or we may say it is correct.